Hi, my name is Jake, and I am a bookish drummer. So for this video, it's just going to be a quick little announcement about our read-along for the Stephen King Short Story Book Club for The Bazaar of Bad Dreams. We will be starting this collection on January 8th, and if you're not familiar with how the Stephen King Short Story Book Club works, we're basically going to, we're going to start on January 8th, like I said, and we're going to be reading one or two short stories a week, depending on how long or short they are. And every week, we're just going to hop in the Discord, read the short story, and then comment about what we thought about them. And then basically how it works is by the end, I'm going to ask everybody to like either rate all of the, rank all of the short stories in the collection, or if you don't want to do that, just say like what were your favorites or what were your least favorites. And then usually uh, at the end of everything, I will make a video talking about this book and hopefully ranking all of the short stories in the collection which I've done for most of the short stories that we've, or most of the collections that we've done in the past. The only one that I didn't do it for was Nightmares and Dreamscapes, which is easily my least favorite collection. And I did not feel like ranking all of those because a lot of them I did not like. But I have ones for Night Shift, Skeleton Crew, Everything's Eventual, and Just After Sunset. And I will be hoping to do one for The Bizarre of Bad Dreams, which uh, I read this when it first came out in 2015. And at the time, uh, I had just started getting into Stephen King. I think my grandma may have even bought the book for me. And I think I, it was, it was just a bad time to read it. Because at the time, I was just really getting into his horror stuff. And I had probably just read stuff like Night Shift and Skeleton Crew, which I'm like, this is amazing. And then jumping into this one, it's just got a different feel to it. Because it's like modern Stephen King writing short stories. So not all of these are going to be like straight horror stories. A lot of them are going to be more on the literary side or just they're going to have a different feel to them. So I think in, you know, goes without saying, like when I first read it, I did not love it. Probably gave it like two and a half stars. I was like, it's fine, but it's nowhere near as good as his other stuff. I'm hoping now like eight years later or even nine years later, good God, it's been a while since I've read this book, but I'm hoping now, uh, with a ma more mature, uh, reading taste, mm -hmm, I, I will, um, enjoy this book much better. You know, sa same thing with Nightmares and Dreamscapes. When I first read that one, I basically hated it, but then I re I reread it and I was like, you know what? There are some really good stories in this. So I'm hoping the same thing happens with this one. And I'm definitely curious to get y'all's reaction uh, about this collection. Uh, have you guys read it before? Uh, if you have, what what were your favorites and least favorites in the collection? And if you haven't read it before, please join the Bookish Charmer Discord. The link will be down below for the Stephen King Short Story Book Club. Like I said, one to two short stories a week. And starting January 8th, we're going to be reading Mile 81, which I think is actually like a novella length. So be prepared for that. Uh, it's like 40 or 50 pages. Um, but yeah, um, I don't have too much more to say about this one. Um, the, I will, I will say the ones that I remember being good are Batman and Robin have an altercation. Uh, the Dune, I remember being good. Uh, Morality and Afterlife, I remember being good. Uh, you are, a fairly good novella by him. Um, some of my least favorites. Uh, the Bone Church is, I think, if I remember correctly, kind of a Stephen King poem, which in a lot of his collections, he ha he throws those in there, and I'm not a big fan of that. A Blockade Billy is kind of like a baseball story, and just not a huge fan of that. But for a lot of these, I think it'll be a lot of fun, because I don't really remember what they're about so it'll be fun to jump back in and see what it's all about 
So yeah, like I said, if you haven't read this one, please come join the Bookish Charmer Discord and join us in for the fun. And yeah, that's Bizarre Bad Dreams. And the cool thing about this too is that after we finish, uh, there's like 20 short stories in here. So it will take a while to get through it if you want to do it weekly with us. We're going to be finishing in early May, which is actually just before the release of his newest short story collection, You Like It Darker, which I'm very excited for. Uh, like I said, this is his newest collection of short stories since Bizarre Bad Dreams. And You Like It Darker definitely seems like it's going to take on more of a sinister tone and maybe we get some more like classic Stephen King horror short stories, which would be a lot of fun. But um, yeah, before we get to that, we got to read Bizarre Bad Dreams. Uh, please let me know if you're interested in the Stephen King Short Story Book Club. I'll have the link down below. If you've read this one before, what were your least favorite and favorites from this collection? Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and join the Bookish Drummer Discord where we're going to be chatting about the bizarre, the bad dreams. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic day.